welcome back to my channel it's mixed doll there if you're new here welcome i wanted to quickly show you guys how to convert 3d meshes into the sims 4 so yeah let's just get right into the video so the first programs you will be needing will be blender i'm using blender 3.6 but you could use 2.76 uh 2.79 it doesn't really matter which one you use just make sure that in your settings in the sims 4 studio everything is set to the type of blender you are using so yeah you will need blender uh photo editing i'm currently using photo p but you can use gimp photoshop paint it doesn't matter we're just going to do something that's very simple also, you would need the Sim4 Studio and make sure everything's updated. And also check the description down below. I will be linking the websites I'm using. So for the first website, I will be looking on Sketchfab for some 3D meshes. As you can see, I was looking for candy, something easy I could do. Let's think about making probably just a decor item real quick. You also can use C g trader and it will also have a whole bunch of stuff here too right now i was looking at mattresses because i was thinking about doing a decor mattress against the wall um yeah so let's get into it so for example i already seen something that caught my eye will be this uh i like that they have cotton candy they have like a whole bunch of stuff here so almost anything you could think of they would have um what else? Oh, we could do like a decor car, maybe. If they have a car on here. They have like a whole bunch of stuff. Some of the stuff you could buy or you could just download for free. I prefer free items. Like this right here. But just because it's quicker and easier to deal with and plus it's free, you know? So let me search this website and see what I, I'm looking for. Okay, you guys. So I decided to go ahead and go with this box um just because it's exactly what i'm looking for it's low poly um it's already texture materials uv map very simple so yeah and also one more thing i wanted to say is that whatever blender you're using you want to make sure that when you go to a uh, file up here on top you want to go to import and just make sure that whatever 3d mesh you're trying to download is at least one of these I usually stick with the 3D object, um, DAE, GLB, you know, one of these. You just want to make sure you have one of these when you download. So I'm going to go ahead and press download. This is on the C CG Trader. So uh, when you press download, it takes 20 seconds. And when this 20 seconds is done, you will be prompt to a whole bunch of different files. Some of uh, the 3D meshes will have a whole bunch of files to choose from so for me i would need to download textures and so i would need to download this set so once it's downloaded it will be in your downloads folder so you would just go ahead and move it to your preferred folder on your desktop or you can move it to the sims 4 studio folders and since it's in a zip i'm gonna extract it and then for the textures it will come with different textures so it'll come with a box texture and it'll come with normal map what i usually do is just take one i need and i will need to take the normal map as well and throw it over here and that's all you really need to do you will come back to these later to resize them other than that you go ahead and close that go ahead and close that and close this one go back into blender press x on this box go to file import usd go to the folder you put your object in and yeah now this is my object i'm personally going to go ahead and get rid of these just because i don't need them but i'm going to go ahead and scale these down and work on this box so since this box is already done um you could go to uv so you can check it out it's most likely already uv so you don't need to do anything but you would want to change the sizing so to do that go to uv editing highlight the whole box by pressing a and then 
press A over here uh, go to image go to new and just press ok then you will go to UV all the way down to it says export UV layout name is something let me just delete this and press 1 so that will give us our UV so now what we will do is go to our editing program and we will open up the file that we just saved so this is mine this is what I will be opening now we're gonna go back into our folder grab the image and just drag it here and that's all you guys will have to do and just press export export as png you could name it something if you want to just erase this just put plain cardboard box go to our downloads grab it throw it back on our folder and then that's it and you will repeat the same steps with the box normal so come back in here go back to image go to open and do the, and grab the box and then over here on this side press use the nodes you would need to click on the material use nodes and base color image texture and then plain cardboard that's how you would get your box that is literally all you need to do so sometimes when you download a 3d object it will come like this and you try to move one but the other part will move or vice versa that's because they're not joined so you would need to press this arrow go down to the drop box and right here it says box a you need to take the plane and cardboard box so you need to press plane hold down control cardboard box come over here move your mouse over here hold down control J and join them so now when you hide it the box hides the rest of the stuff you could they'll just delete this okay so when you come over here you you hold S this right here will start moving because everything now is joined now we're going to go ahead and append this with book and if you guys don't know how to append your meshes with a sims 4 studio mesh um click the video in the description below that's my video showing how you can make cc and it explains the whole process of how to join a sims 4 studio mesh with a mesh you made or that you grabbed from a website yeah and if your thing is all the way up here all you need to do is just go to edit mode make sure the box is highlighted bring it up here go back to object mode and bring it down okay so now we will be appending so go to file append go to the folder that is holding the meshes that you usually replace with uh, mines I have a folder called replacement meshes and I'm gonna use my book mesh as usual highlight studio mesh 0 and studio mesh 1 press the pin and now we will take our box size it down that will be it you need to go to studio mesh one go to edit mode press a press x delete vertex and then go back to object mode while you're still on studio mesh press on the cardboard hold down control hit the one that says studio mesh one Go over here control J and other join now you come over here and delete this one and now you have your box now you can come over here and size this down a little go over here fix this a little, up a little and save now save yours as um, plan box also quickly just check and delete the diffuse you need to go to material it will have another it will have a, a few uh, materials on the side so just delete the ones you don't want and make sure everything's correct go and save it i name mine's playing box save as now we're going to jump into the sims for studio go to object create 3d mesh get a base game book 
you want to make sure that when you import the new mesh make sure you're going to import it on the same exact mesh you append if that makes sense so i'm just name it mixed all plan box same name up here come over here go to mesh and import your mesh and do the same thing for all lod now for the shadow go back into blender delete studio mesh zero press studio mesh one go to the scene go to cut enter zero save as shadow hop back into sense for studio go to shadow import the plain box shadow now you have your box but now you have this weird texture so go to your textures import go to the textures you saved and import it and now you have your box texture in here you can change the color if you want and yeah now go to this you don't need to put um, the normals in any of these you could just use your blink bumps but using like a normal map it will just give you um like a type of texture or shine or something like that so yeah we're gonna just use this for now and then if anything i'll fix those later go to tags uh this will be decorations um you could change the color light brown dark brown and just press save and literally that's it okay you guys so i am in the game and i just searched my name and i found the little box we just made and look how cute and realistic it is oh my gosh it looks so nice so i had to take a few pictures so yeah you guys um i hope i wasn't all over the place with this tutorial the box came out really good everything seems to work and it just looks so realistic and it literally took me no time because again this is a mesh that was already made and it's just converted for the sims 4 now so yeah there you guys go so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you want more tutorials leave some comments down below and let me know what you guys want also you could message me on patreon um and you can also message me on my uh instagram at mixed doll so i'm gonna leave all of my information down below if you guys want to ask me some questions or give me suggestions or tips and tricks on how you do things so yeah you guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial leave comments down below like the video give the video a thumbs up turn your notification bells on so you'll be notified when i upload and also share the video to your friends and save the video so you guys can always come back and watch this when you need some help converting objects so yeah peace out you guys